and welcome back to the channel. And this is a little bit of an impromptu unplanned video today, so gonna be totally unprofessional. But I'm about to head out on a weekend backpacking trip and it'll be two nights, three days, we'll say total. Planning to go about 25 to 30 miles over the weekend, but I realized that every good hiking and backpacking channel has some sort of gear loadout and I have not done one yet. So we'll first go over what is typically in my pack and I've adjusted a little bit from my packing list based on what the weather is going to be this weekend and what I know about the area. So I'll kind of go through some of those adjustments and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you what's in Remy's pack. So here's a little bit of the bird's eye view. What I have starting in this is my big three, and then my outerwear or stuff that kind of goes on the outside of my pack. Moving into my food systems, toiletries, inside of pack, and then my electronics over here. So we'll go ahead and get a little bit closer. So here we've got my feathered friends. YF Egret, which is a 20 degree bag, and it is gonna be warmer this weekend, so I probably don't need to go this low, but I think this is gonna be my all season bag anyways. What I can do is actually rearrange the down, so if it does get too warm, I can put the down on the bottom and have it a little bit um, cooler all around for a sleeping bag. Then we've got our x -Pedge nozzle for the sleeping pad, our x -Ped down mat, HL medium, and then I'm a back sleeper, so I don't really need some fluffy pillow. I just have this Sea to Summit pillowcase that I put my hiking clothes in and it works well as a pillow. And then this weekend we're gonna be taking, so we're still testing the Emo Dragonfly 2P. And so what I've done to save about 10 ounces overall is actually just put it in a four liter stuff sack. And then the poles are over there. It's the bike pack. So the poles can actually fit vertical in my in my backpack, which is really nice. And then I bring different stakes than Nemo Sends. They're a little bit lighter and a little bit more durable. So I have MSR Groundhogs and I've got the Tokes Titanium Fatties, which work really well up in Colorado. And I keep everything as is, except for the sleeping bag. I actually will just, this is kind of a pre-compression bag because it's fluffy and lofty that it's hard to get in the pack right away. So I kind of pre-compress it in this bag and then I'll just put it in the bottom of my sleeping bag, but I won't keep it in this compression sack. And over here is sort of the outerwear or gear I'm planning on wearing either at camp or while I'm actually hiking. It is supposed to get down to the low 30s and then maybe be 65 during the day. So kind of big temperature swing. So we've got my puffy jacket, which is the mountain hardware ghost shadow, which is a synthetic version of the ghost whisper because it's much, much cheaper. And then my North Face Pearl beanie, some fleece gloves, which I'm still kind of iffy about whether or not I like them. It is sort of spring snow melt. So I am gonna bring my mic spikes just in case there's ice, which I assume ice and snow still on the trail. It is supposed to be clear, so I am not going to bring my three layer shell, which I usually wear. I'm just going to bring an extra raincoat and I'm not hiking at high elevation, so I don't have to worry too much about the wind. I'm only going to be at about, I want to say 7,200 feet in elevation. So a two layer raincoat and shell, this is also windproof shell, should be fine just for this trip. I've got my baseball cap that I hike with and then my trekking poles my Smith Langley sunglasses, my Yo Colorado Buff bear spray, cause it's a heavy bear area, especially this time of year. First aid kit, my Zolio satellite. And we are gonna be camping near the creek. I don't know if it's still frozen, but this is actually an ex officio bandana that has permethrin integrated into it. So it actually works really well for mosquitoes. I, I just tie it around my head to keep mosquitoes away from my, my face or any sort of bug. My SPF chapstick, toilet trees, I guess you wanna call it, what I need heavy access to on the outside of my pack. So there's like tissue and sanitizer and lotion and sunscreen. My small headlamp and my toilet kit over here, which I should really only need my Kula cloth. There's pit toilets at the trailhead, so hopefully I won't need anything else. And then my Katadyne Hiker Pro. So this is a bigger filter. I'm not sure if the, the streams are gonna be frozen. And this is actually something that I like to carry anyways when I don't know the water situation. It's heavy, people say, but I do carry a water bladder. So it actually just directly connects next to my bladder. I don't have to remove anything from my pack to fill up my bladder, but I was hiking in Golden Gate last year and I actually had to filter water from silts because even the reliable water sources during that time of year were completely dry. So for me, I'd rather be safe than dehydrated, especially with the dog. And so I like to carry this Hadadine filter with me, especially when I'm gonna be carrying water. I don't quite know what the water situation is gonna be for the weekend. 
And then over here, we just have my base layers, which I'll sleep in, so socks. And since I'm going for two days, an extra pair of undies, base layer pants, and a shirt. We've got glasses and contacts. My toiletries here, which my teeth cleaning kit. I'm trying out toothpaste tabs this time. I've been trying to use powder, which I ended up just, I hate. So we're gonna do the tabs. We've got my pill mill here. Um, that is Q-tips and a nail clippers, just in case I need it. And then we've got some Mume, body powder, green goo, lotion, face lotion and then face wipes. And then that's just my hairbrush because I obviously has long hair. And then here is sort of my kitchen, my cam kitchen. So we've got my micro. And then in the bottom of my jet boil micro, I actually just stick a little Swiss Army knife, little lighter in case the automatic lighter goes out, some camp soap. That's a bear hang thing. I won't need it here, but it's always good to have extra cord. My 100 gram fuel canister. And then a little scotch scrubber, which I always just buy these and cut them into little pieces to help grab out any dishes I need. And then a little micro towel and my long handled spoon. And then here's my food bag from Hilltop Packs and my little pouch cozy, which I roll up because I use neoprene, my coffee kit and a pack out bag, and then my water bladder. So just to show you what I do to maximize the space in my jet foil is I just take the bottom and then you put the little knife in, the lighter in, the soap in, my little scrubby brush in, and then we can pack away this little towel in here and then put the cut back on. And voila, maximizing the space in my jet boil. And then for my electronics and ditty bag, we've just got this one little ditty bag and all this stuff fits in there. So we've got my Kindle, which I do like to bring in e for my e-reader, extra power bank, my cords, gear repair kit, an extra Sharpie, which is always nice. I tend to get the industrial or the extreme ones. I've actually used it several times, but it's nice to have a Sharpie on hand. Extra camera batteries and a solar powered light. This I generally won't bring on a shorter trip like this, but I like to bring on longer trips just because it is nice to have an extra solar powered light and it's only about three ounces, so very lightweight. And then over here, we've got my camera gear, which I usually, if I don't forget, get certain pieces of it bring with me. So we've got my Adobe 3000 tripod. And then this is the camera. It's just a Panasonic Lumix LX10, I believe, that I usually take photos with if I've got things to take photos of. And then I'm gonna check out this Pocket 2. It's a DJI Pocket 2. I've never used it, but we're gonna see. Usually I use my iPhone in the winter just because my camera gear tends to freeze up. So I like to use that, but we're gonna see because it is very small and tiny and see how well I can actually handle some sort of high-tech gear. And it's nice because it does have the wireless microphone and in Colorado it's nice to have the wind muff on it too so we're gonna check this out and see how fancy we can get with some of our videos in the near future and for our pack this weekend we're gonna be bringing the ULA circuit this is a new pack for me I traditionally carry a Gregory Jade 60 or 63 it's a 60 for the extra small version but I've been trying to cut some weight especially getting ready for the Colorado Trail so we are breaking this in packing it in and out seeing how well it carries with heavy weight and so this is what we'll pack up today and carry with us this weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and get this all packed up just to show you that it actually does fit and then we'll see how much ways I am going to be carrying in two days worth of food and three liters of water just in case there is no water availability at the campsite and I'm guessing it's going to be right around 30 pounds so we'll see how close I am to that guess. We appear to be having technical difficulties. Um, so yeah, apparently my iPhone storage was full on my one old phone, so I'm not gonna reshoot. I'm just gonna show you what the pack looks like sort of from around and then getting it on. Okay, so I guessed about 30 pounds for my pack weight, so that's two-ish days worth of food and three liters of a water carry, so we'll see how much we've got in this baby. Thirty-three pounds. 
and that would be 15.1 kilos. I was a little bit off. And this is the overview of what's in Remy's pack. So we've got his Mountain Smith canine pack, and then we've got our Wild River sleeping bag, a camp towel, which I lay on the floor of the tent, a little silicone scrubber, or it's a silicone sponge to actually clean up dog hair and mess, poop bags, and then he's got a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad I cut down. It's his bed. And then we're gonna try out something new, especially when it's springtime and the ground is wet. I just bought this piece of X-Pack fabric from Dutch Wear Gear to lay down as like a ground cloth. So I can use it, Remy can use it, and we'll see how it goes. It's only three ounces, so should be fine for his bag. And I also keep the Catadine Be Free in an extra Hydra Pack in his pack too, just cause we can help share the weight with that and it's easy access if we are at a creek or a stream and we want water right away we'll just take that out of his pack he's got his stunt runner leash first aid kit his pack out bag and food and water bowl and then i have his high visibility vest and then in case i need to carry his pack or we're not using a pack for the day especially on a longer day hikes i've got his harness as well as a glow collar at night so this thing actually lights up all the way around and that's what's in remy's pack oh and then i've outfitted his bag with these, I can reach them. Just this elastic, so he actually carries this on him. He kind of looks like a little Remy airplane. It's kind of cute. That's what's in Remy's pack. So that's it. That's what we have in our pack. Hopefully you enjoyed this short little impromptu video and give you a little bit of insight into how we get ready to go out on trail. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I talk all about hiking, camping, and backpacking, and just your general life adventures with you and your dog. Thanks for watching.